All right, let's get started. So welcome back to Southern Beltero. So this is a very good topic submitted by one of you guys. Thank you so much because I really enjoyed uh, this idea. So it's basically Grammy predictions, likelihood that these artists will be nominated or win a Grammy. So uh, remember, tarot is subjective. This is my subjective interpretation of the tarot. Energy changes. So this, um, you know, can change. So I'm not saying this is what will happen. I'm saying this is what I see at this moment. So I do offer private readings. Please see the description box below. My first prediction, just off top, is that Glorilla and Cardi B will win a Grammy for tomorrow too. I say that because I listen to that song at least once a day, if not more. It's a very catchy song. And I remember one day saying to myself when I was listening to it in my car, this deserves a Grammy. Um, and my prayer is, you know, number one, I am biased because I am from Memphis. I live in Memphis. Uh, well, really, if you take home that Grammy, this will be the biggest moment in Grammy history for Memphis since 3-6 Mafia um, was on, uh, won the Grammy for Hustle and Flow. And if Gloria Hallelujah Woods will win, I'm not going to say if, when she wins that Grammy, it's going to be a big moment for Memphis. Uh, it's just, uh, she's a wonderful young lady to watch. Now, while I don't particularly care for uh, her record label, her, her supervisor, her record label supervisor, I do think that she is a superstar. Especially because she balances her religious side she doesn't hide it and she's still herself so i really enjoy her so will tomorrow too win a grammy oh i ain't got all my jewelry on hold on Blair. wait a minute will tomorrow too win a grammy knight of cups it it will and people think it'll be premature Stars reversed. The Four of Cups is reversed. Again, Judgment is reversed. The Hermit. The Six of Swords is coming out crossing. And the Six of Wands is as well. I need a ten. I need 10. King of Wands. Knight of Swords reverse. Justice reverse. You know what? Nine of Swords is at the bottom. If they win, and I do think that they do have a good chance of winning, they as in Glorilla and Cardi B, there's going to be a lot of controversy that they feel like is premature. Um... Or what have you so the energy is giving and i'm talking directly to gloria hallelujah woods when i say this um don't let the naysayers impact your moment while i know you won't i just don't like the hate that it's getting because i think that she's talented and i think that less talented people have gotten grammys for uh i'll just say it. i'm leaving it at that I'm, just, I'm leaving it at that. But um, I don't care. No one says there's no way that yo. Well, you know what? Mm -mm, no, nope, because Jay-Z don't have a good relationship with the um, Grammys. I was saying his relationship with Jigga may impact it. Her winning or like may, people may feel like he got, he got strings pulled. Mm -mm. Definitely not that. Jay-Z dissed the Grammys in a whole bar. But, ooh, Jay-Z played both sides, though, because he said a lot of shit about the NFL, and now he's um, conducting all the freaking um, Super Bowl halftime shows. Anyways, Gloria Hallelujah Woods, also known as Glorilla, when you win, don't let that overshadow, don't let the naysayers overshadow your moment. I truly think that you are, um, look, I'm going to say this, you ain't, you definitely ain't, baby, you ain't no Nicki Minaj. But you're yourself, if, if that makes sense. Um, there's so many comparisons to Nicki when it comes to female rappers that are unfair. 
was everybody didn't get into female rap to be like Nicki Minaj. They got into the music industry as an art. Music is an art. So it's a self-expression, okay? So to expect all female rappers to somewhat mimic Nicki Minaj is unrealistic, number one, because she is Nicki Minaj. Number two, because they are doing their own self-expression of their art, which is why Glorilla and um, Moneybag Gil say music or however they say it. I can't even enunciate it like that because even though I grew up in West Tennessee, I, my enunciation is different because my mom's from Philadelphia. So I learned how to speak differently, even though I have the accent. So even people down here think I talk funny with a country accent. But she became her, she became an artist from her life experiences. Everybody is different. We're, and I think Glorilla does have talent. It's a difference when there are female rappers that have absolutely no talent that are industry plants. Now those are problematic female rappers, but to expect everyone to be um, comparable to Nicki is unfair because Nick, Nicki's doing her own self-expression and those female rappers that deserve to be in the rap game <clears throat> that aren't industry plants um, are doing their version of their own self-expression of their life experiences. Make, does that make sense? It just so happens that um, Nicki resonates with more people. She has a more fluid music um, style. Like she can make starship, she can make super bass. Like Glorilla really hasn't gone into that mainstream type of uh, rap territory yet, even though I do think that they may try to push her that way, but I don't think she'll last long. Uh, uh, she's uh, adaptable, but at the same time, she, she can bend, but I don't think she'll been that far it just it won't be fitting to her here's the nine of swords i'm still on this subject but why is that eight of swords reversed the moon does this need to be a glorilla reading Okay, so I don't want to change the topic of the reading. I don't want to change the topic of the reading. I'll do a separate Glorilla reading. Let me write. write let me write it down now. I'm seeing something, but I need I need the energy to be focused solely on her, not on everything else. the likelihood that Coco Jones will be nominated and or win a Grammy the six of cups is reversed she should have been one one it's weird ain't it oh and that was the three of swords knight of wands hanged man the nine of swords. What is? And then the eight of wands. Judgment. King of cups reversed. Four of cups reversed. Ace of cups reversed. The devil reversed. Okay, so this is a theme. As far as it goes for black artists this year at the Grammys, is there going to be disappointment? as it relates to <clears throat> public perception that too many black artists won too many Grammys. Give me a second, y'all. I'm kind of seeing that. Two of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's too many. reversed 
Hair Font. Queen of Pentacles. And yeah. A lot of black women gonna be winning. King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so I might not have to do the Glorilla reading. But I'm still doing one anyways. Just because I have never... Have I ever done a reading on her by herself? I can't remember. Uh, okay. So we're still going to be on this topic. But y'all, a lot of black women are going to be winning Grammys this year. And there's this energy of people are going to be dressed regally. Like royalty. I don't know where I'm getting that from. If Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle are at the Grammys, it's over. In a good way. The world... Page of Cups reversed. Microaggression. My, page of Swords. I'm telling you, microaggressions. Judgment to the Temperance. Three of Pentacles peeking out of the deck. Seven of Pentacles. There have been conversations surrounding not enough black people winning Grammys. I remember that, and this is a totally different award show, the Oscars. Remember that it was on, this is back when X was called Twitter. They um, had the hashtag on Oscars so white because um, so many um, people of the majority won and hardly any black actors and actresses won. There's going to be some microaggression surrounding black. The artists that I have down, everybody has a, a high chance of winning because this is going to be like, a, one of the years that a lot of black artists win awards and while it won't be an overt anger the shade will be shading if that makes sense give me more about that lord do we need to child two of pentacles five of swords four of wands Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Hermit. Emperor. Judgment is here. Devil peeking out. That was the Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed is giving Karen. It's giving Karen. Yes, I can. People are going to feel like this was planned. As if, like, people met up within the Grammys voting body and said we need to make sure we vote for more black artists distraction and discord give me more about that kidding me it's almost as if the stock market is going to be affected by black artists winning the grammys why would that happen i wouldn't know you probably you guys probably know remember i keep up with celebrity news barely okay the big 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 stories of course i'm gonna watch a video here and there but it's very time consuming there listen there's some part of the grammys that we don't know about in the sense of while we may win the award it's like that we win the battle but they win the war they as in the majority win the war some there's some backdoor way of some type of financial investment that they're gonna get i don't know what it is about it, it, it i have no idea what this is about and i'm, I'm gonna have to have y'all help me because i can't think of any way that a loser could still win um but there seems to be that energy uh, we'll let them get the award but we're still gonna walk off with the money what's that about High Priestess, Seven of Swords reversed, which is the same as the Seven of Swords upright, but it in, it enhances the negative characteristics. Some than the Three of Cups. So, oh, celebrate all you want, but we're still getting the money. Four of Pentacles reversed. What the fuck, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. Okay. The Sun. What's this boycott energy coming from? If we don't win, we're gonna start a war. We're gonna cause chaos, a tower moment, and we'll put an end to the Grammys. This is a 
already happening. This is already being discussed and talked about. There's these energies trying to thwart many black artists winning. I don't think it's it's not going anywhere. That's the first thing we need that that I'm gonna make clear. The thing is though, it's this some it's something that even I can you help me intuitively? Can you give me something out of the intuition or okay? The friend. I am my own best friend and magnetize other loving friendships. The traumatized. I acknowledge that I have been traumatized, but I but also that I am healing. Eleven forty four. The reputable. I live my life as if my guardian angels are watching over me. The initiator. I overcome resistance and do what must be done now. The improviser. I effortlessly adapt to deal with unexpected circumstances. Okay. The transformer. Okay. I transform myself as... A caterpillar transforms into a butterfly and at the bottom we have the summoner. I ask for what I want because I deserve to get it. Okay. There okay, so there have been discussions, but they're good discussions. It's giving Quaker. Um, you know, they were the um against basically abolitionists, they were against slavery. I get that vision. I don't know if y'all and I hate that they canceled this show underground. Y'all remember underground? When there was that secret meeting and it was a meeting of elite white people who are against slavery it's giving people who vote for um who should win in these categories meeting together to discuss ensuring that we do the right thing this year it's weird um the right thing by black artists or the right thing by a particular black artist spirit that's the question that i have because Nicki Minaj submitted a lot of submissions, and as we all know, she should have been one of fucking Grammy. I ain't gonna go back and forth with nobody on Beyonce internet about that, okay? Uh, is it about black artists, period, or particular black artists? I hope. I definitely th think Victoria Monet could win a Grammy, but it would be, they would feel like it would be premature for her to. See, this is the thing. We have to get out of this energy that just because people are new to the game doesn't mean that they can have big accomplishments in the beginning of their career. <laughs> that's what the, that's what it is. It's kind of giving that too. So, Queen of Wands, the Queen of Rap. Nicki Minaj is the Queen of Wands. What reading did I just do? And I said she was Queen of Wands. The Tasha K reading when I was talking about Tasha K, Cardi B, and Nicki. Well, not well, mostly about Tasha K and Cardi B, but then Nicki, how she was in it. And remember, Nicki was the Queen of Wands reversed. And um, the sense, I can't remember what aspect, not reverses, and she's a negative Nancy, but that was her presenting. It's Nikki. So give me more about Nicki Minaj and her chances of, let's just talk about winning a Grammy. She'll be nominated. I'm sorry, I'm going to, mm, Five of Swords reversed. There's this inner, ooh. So, you know, she's been having this beef with the Grammys. And remember, I did the next big celebrity scandal. And I got that the scandal would involve it coming out that Nicki Minaj should have been one Grammys before. Remember that. The Five of Swords reverse in, indicates giving up. In a, in a, not giving up. It indicates the energy involved, the people involved. In the reverse, the Five of Swords means, you know what? It's better to cut my losses then continue to deny Nicki Minaj of her Grammys because it's not a, it's not worth fighting anymore in the sense of uh, I'd be doing myself a disservice denying her a Grammy this year that's that's good to a pinnacles reverse and imbalance she's gonna win a lot is she gonna win a lot is that what it is yes who the empress child <laughs> Empress embodies every queen in the deck. Ooh, child, she come. she's getting her just desserts this year at the Grammys. Nicki Minaj is going several, several. It's giving Lauren Hill. It is giving Lauren Hill. But you know what's interesting? My Kipper deck is here, and this is the book that's on top um, that comes with it. The, the this is the Mature Woman card, and she has the most. She has the side eye from hell. Um, when paired with other cards, she uh, means an overbearing older woman 
who basically is meddling in business she shouldn't be meddling in. Give me a second. Let me look at the card. Now, whoever um, suggested this reading, um, just know that black people are winning, period, at the Grammys this year. It don't matter. Um, there's this element of the energy surrounding the child. Not that plan in my plan in my reading, though, because I just want to go artist by artist. Because that mature woman energy is important. Um, there's this energy of wanting to make black artists, period, feel uncomfortable to even attend the Grammys. There may be something that's done, as in some threat made that if they show up, something will happen. But then when they even when they arrive, especially Nikki in particular, it's giving the mature woman side eye, people trying to make her feel uncomfortable. And that's why this nine of wands energy is here. Like, well, I'm still going to show up, but uh, they'll try to make the energy in the room uncomfortable. So Nikki, it's important to cleanse before you go, baby, and bring all the protection in the world. And I'm not talking about security. I'm not talking about physical protection. Of course, you don't have that. You need your spiritual protection because they want you to feel uncomfortable on your the, one of the biggest nights of your life. And that's why I always say, and y'all know I am a barb. I'm a, I'm going to leave it at that. But um, when it comes to this here, doing these readings, I'm an equal opportunist. I would call the energy like I see it, child. Come on, mature woman. If she's behind, if she's behind it or below it, she's a meddler, a troublemaker, a troublemaking female relative or a, an ex. So ignore that. But the energy is meddling, meddling, troublemaking. Give me more about that. The meeting was about black artists in general, but particularly Nikki. Look at this, the three of cups. The seven of pentacles reversed to the two of cups reversed. The king of pentacles reversed. I'm telling you. Who is this king of pentacles reversed? He didn't come out in two decks now, right? Mm hmm. Who is this? It's a man operating in highly feminine energy. Uh, maybe a Leo, page of swords, four of wands, trying to break her stability, the world, they don't want her to have it all. Either way, the cookie crumbles, she's going to win the award she's supposed to win. But, Nikki, you know that there's this... It, it's, I ain't never seen people team up so bad to try to beat one person. And I say this all the time. Advice to haters. The more you do, the more, you, the more negativity you pump towards somebody, the more the universe exalts them. If you leave people you're jealous of alone, they wouldn't win as much, if that makes sense. But when you fuck with people, the universe is going to continually um, give them premature blessings. And in this instance, it ain't premature. It's overdue for her. But uh, that's probably what it is. Uh, what we don't know about a lot of these black artists is behind the scenes. They're in that nine of swords energy because they're dealing with a lot of microaggressive shit. Okay. And them winning Victoria Monet, Coco Jones, Ice Spice. Glorilla winning so early is a result of because their talent, number one. Number two, because of what they've endured behind the scenes that we haven't witnessed. That is wild. Okay, and my other prediction is J. Cole and Dirk are going to um, take home a Grammy for All My Life and Lil Uzi Will for Just Wanna Rock. Now, if they're nominated for the same award and that's the only time these songs are nominated, good child. Sticky one. And what's the likelihood that J. Cole and Dirk will win for all my life? Because I'm telling you, I can't go nowhere right here so I sing that song. Page of Pentacles reversed. The Four of Cups reversed. The Fool. Strength reversed. Page of Swords. The Sun. The Sun is good. Upright reversed. 
It's the ones. There's this. Ugh, why? See, what I don't like about this um, Black Artist Taking Home Awards, it looks like it's particular to Black women. And that some Black male artists may suffer losses to Black female artists. Um, and people may feel like that black male artist deserved it more than a black female did. This is this is so crazy. It's 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 crazy, but it's weird. Either way it goes, it looks like either J. Cole or Dark are gonna win an award individually. I don't necessarily know if all my life will win though. But if they've submit have other submissions, you know, solo submissions, even if it's with another artist. They may. See, here's this Nine of Swords here. The Eight of Pentacles. I do think that it would be a disservice to them for them not to win a Grammy for whatever song this, for whatever category this song is in. Uzi too. Just Wanna Rock barely has any lyrics, but it's catchy. If Beyonce is using your music during her tour, it's like um, OT Genesis, even though he never been nominated for no Grammys. Well, no, I don't know if he's never been nominated. I, I, he's probably been nominated. I don't know if he's ever won. Um, that's that's big. Uh, there's going to be some ca controversy around that, too. What's the likelihood that Uzi will win a Grammy for um, Just Wanna Rock? Or let's just talk in general. I think his best chances are with Just Wanna Rock. Temperance is reversed. The Four of Wands. Just want to rock. If it's nominated with All My Life, it may win over All My Life. <laughs> I think so. Look, the Six of Swords to the High Priestess to the Three of Swords. Three of Cups reversed. Six of Wands. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, Lord. Please let this reading age like fine wine. But remember, energy changes and things can change. Just what I'm seeing now. What's the likelihood that Victoria Monet will win a Grammy, and I'm going all over the place now, y'all, but that beginning just threw me off a little bit. I'm sorry. Five of Pentacles reversed. Strength reversed. The Lovers reversed. The Three of Wands is reversed. The Moon is reversed. The Fool to the Nine of Swords. The Magician reversed. The Queen of Swords upright to the Hierophant. Okay. I don't know if she's done any collaboration. She has a higher likelihood of winning a, a collab Grammy. Like if she collab with someone or something else. Um, a more experienced artist may win over her though. But it's... Does that more experienced artist deserve to win over her though? She's super talented and she brings... I like the fact that uh, she has that old, not well, I guess old school, I'm 33 now. But a lot of her music is like from when my, my time period growing up, the stars here. Page of Wands, reverse. I guess it depends on who you ask. Seven of Wands, reverse. Does that other artist deserve to win over her? The Magician, reverse. The Moon, reverse. To the Three of Wands, reverse. Okay, Victoria, this, and see, these read, this is supposed to be a, a general reading over everybody, but it's turned into personal readings. Somebody is, uh, has some type of, uh, work being done over her success as it relates to winning awards. Is that what I'm seeing? Like, like black magic. Is that what I'm seeing, Spirit? I think it is. I think it is. This is a lot. Six of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Six of Wands. Mm -mm. Just give me three, please. Yeah, Seven of Swords reversed. Mm -hmm. High Priestess is here. Two of Pentacles is here. What's interesting is I'm going to go ahead and say what I was going to say when I seen this. I'm getting the energy. It's like this person who's doing this work is doing is They ultimately determine whether or not she wins or loses. It's like through whatever magic they're doing. So it looks like all these artists, all of any, any black artist that's nominated needs to do protection work. But Victoria, you really do. Someone is actively targeting you. Who is this person? Who is this person? A jealous record executive. 
somebody you didn't sign to or somebody at your record label you don't get a yep yep chariot reverse someone that doesn't like the fact that you transitioned away from them this is another male artist it could be or a powerful male record label executive or a female record executive label executive that is in masculine energy heavily but victoria i would not put it past this person even being a part of your record label simply not liking you because you know when you win that person would win too but they were they're willing to even let you lose which in in turn they lose as well just because they don't like you i don't know what that's about um why is this person so fixated on her to the point that they feel like they have to do work on her I think Tyler may win for water. Seven of Swords. Reversed. This is wild. Queen of Swords upright. A bitch. Just a bitch. In the reverse, she's a bitch. But this is giving female record exec, label exec that doesn't like you. It's what it's giving. To the point that to the point that she's willing to lose herself, even though y'all on the same team. Ain't that crazy? Girl, get a life. definitely an air sign she, or she's a libra she don't like that the the uh the big boss so she's not the biggest boss but she's up there she don't like that the big boss sides with you over her um she also does not like that she feels like victoria gets her way This person is probably somebody that has to do with artist development. Normally, their input or their insight is that valuable. Victoria has instead chosen to lean on her own um, artistic understanding and rejected this person's advice. And since then, she ain't been the same. But the thing is, is the, the way Victoria wanted to do whatever this creative project was worked. It was successful. She was expecting it to fail. And she's that angry that she just, since then she can't get over it. Because it's like the one time someone has actually went against this person and it worked for them. And in the past, Victoria, when people did this, it didn't work out. It didn't pan out the way it did for you. This bitch is obsessed and she needs a fucking life and a dildo. And a man. Next. Who we gonna talk about? What is the likelihood that Lotto will win a Grammy? Ace of Pentacles reverse, the strength reverse. Let's keep going. I'm not gonna take those. What's the likelihood that Lotto? It's a lot of energy. Let me cleanse because I just I want, everybody deserves a fair shake around here. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff going on. There's a you know the music industry is a very listen. You know they say they say that so they say Satan sang in the choir. So music can be very 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 dark. So I'm surprised. Hollywood is dark. Fame, I mean being famous period is a very dark. It's just dark all over. So I ain't surprised I got to do this. What is the likelihood that Lotto may win a Grammy? The devil is rushed. The Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. I'm gonna say this. I'll be honest. When I saw the Ace Pentacles reverse, I got the in it, I got the download. She gonna have to pay for it. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. Um, Five of Pentacles. You gotta come up with some money. If this is a King of Wands child, and my man, thank you to my man. And this ain't the man. Man, it's giving Satan man. Okay, Lotto will profit a man to gain the whole wide world and lose. But lose their soul, girlfriend. Um, five of Swords is here. Queen of Wands is here reversed. You know better. Do better. And I'm leaving it at that. Uh, the Chariot is reversed. Don't do it. The Knight of Pentacles is reversed. And the Tower is reversed. Nine of Pentacles is here. This is a successful woman that has it all. A Grammy. However, it's not worth sacrificing your soul for a Grammy. This is this is super dark. This is super dark. Do I think she's done that? No, but it's give it's giving. Give me 
more about that energy surrounding Lotto. High Priestess to the Eight of Cups reverse. Three of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, child. The Hermit. Okay, she know better. She knows better. Tower. She knows better. Eight of Cups, you know, traditional tarot. It's a man walking up to a mountain. They say that man eventually gets to the top of the mountain and turns into the hermit. Uh, there's definitely this energy of almost, but knowing better. Judgment and awakening. She knows better. The emperor. The, to the, there's there's a man, because first we, what was the first set we had? We had the king and queen of wands. King of Wands was upright. Queen of Wands was reversed, right? Either way it goes. Emperor upright. Empress reversed. Someone's trying to influence her to sell out in a way to get ahead in a, a negatively spiritual, very dark way. But she's resistant to it. Three of Pentacles is reversed. She's not going to do it. She's not going to work with this person. And that's good, Lotto. Because in the end, by resisting that, your blessings will come in the right way. You ain't got to do all that to get where you need to be. And honestly, you're not at a level where you deserve a Grammy yet. Like I said, out of all the newbies, you're the one that's least deserving of a Grammy at this moment. And that's no shade. That's just my personal opinion, which I'm entitled to. I think eventually you will get there. But um, don't get ahead by accepting dark favors. Um uh, Working with the, working with that man down there is never, there's, there's always something, there's always strings attached, okay? Oh, the music industry is wild. What's that likelihood of, um, Hallie Bailey winning a Grammy? The Nine of Wands. King of Swords reversed. Disney, remember in that reading I did over Hal and Didi, Hal and, I want to call her Hal all the time and I'll call her wherever I want to. Y'all know what I mean. Same damn difference. Disney dissing her because she's pregnant. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving. Delayed success. You may not win a Grammy, but you're going to win something. Uh, you're going to win in another arena, even if it's not at the, at the Grammys, okay? Uh, there will be more opportunities that you will cultivate yourself. I love to see it. Part of how Hallie does that is by um, harvesting that dark energy. That snake tattoo gets me every time on this card. Girlfriend, it's time to pull your sword out and get and get in and in, in waddle with them. Okay, it's it's time to tussle with these people. Uh, yeah, I, I think you've played nice and nice long enough. And I actually think that she can be a little bitchy behind the scenes because some of the comments y'all were making were like she ain't as innocent as she appears to be, and maybe she's not when p other people are looking. Um, <clears throat> but getting that harvest that dark energy to go up against this king of swords reversed I think that I ain't gonna say that because I don't want my men to get offended anyways this web near her eyes this spider web tattoo look at it oh what a web we weave when we try to deceive it's okay to harvest dark energy but don't do it through a very deceptive way Hallie um there, like I said in that re the collective reading I just did when I was talking about that, there is a very narrow window when you didn't took it too far. You kind of got to know how far you can go. Just don't go too far. Don't take too far. I wouldn't do it while I'm super hormonal and pregnant and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or even before my period. PMDD is real, by the way, because I have realized I have it. Okay, because I didn't have a period for years. When I took my IUD out, my period started back, and then I started noticing right before my... Well, I recently started to notice that I, a day before my period, y'all, I'm a whole fucking heathen. Um, it's something about your your mood and your hormones and stuff that can, King of Cups reverse, can make you go there. Um, I would recommend harvesting that dark side when you're in a balanced state. Anyways, Sizzle. What's the likelihood that Sizzle will win a Grammy? Gosh, strength is here. King of Wands to the Five of Pentacles. If she were to win album of the year, people would try to say that's the biggest disappointment of the night. 
Empress reverse. And it's, and then here's the Emperor, and here's Judgment. Let me pull another deck. What's interesting, it just appears to be that this is the season. This just is that season. Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, and all them, they got plenty of Grammys out there just to win, okay? It's giving, it really, I mean, I'm just saying. I be seeing them clips of Taylor Swift from Taylor Swift's tour, and I'm like, oof. I don't know. Listen, uh, I, I don't have nothing against her, but I just don't see what y'all see, what they see in her as an artist. It, 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 I mean, I don't know. I can't sing one damn tune. Queen of Wands reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Oh God! And then the other girls in the category with her are gonna start to treat her differently because if y'all realize, I look at SZA's concerts. It's a lot of celebrities of the majority that love SZA but it's giving if she wins then we're mad at her it's giving um I love this example Simone Biles I say this all the time she did this little trick gymnastics trick and then instead of making other people step up to the plate and be able to do it too they banned it simply because they didn't think other people could do it they always try to make us lower ourselves to meet their expectations now y'all know if the tables were turned they would tell her to catch up but instead of telling the people who couldn't do it to catch up with Simone, they told her to step down. What I will say, sister, is if you win, I will stunt on all them bitches. Just saying, do it for the ancestors. Anyways, uh, Tyler. What's the likely that Tyler, I hope I'm saying her name right, with Lindsay Tower reversed, page of swords, upright. She may be a presenter. Not the seven of swords reverse sticking out again. Okay, so it looked, I don't know where she's from. Six of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups reverse, Page of Cups. Three of Cups reverse. So I don't know where she's from, but it's almost as if they feel like it would be a sympathy award because something that happened prior to the Grammys um, that was real tragic, whether it's from, whether it happened to the country she's from or in her personal life, people would feel like she's getting it out of sympathy. But I think that, uh, yeah, justice is reversed. People would feel like it's not fair. But I think that that one song that I do know of hers and I can't even think of the lyrics, but I know the beat. Um, and some of the lyrics, I will say, I think it's super catchy. And I think, you know, it's, listen, I think it's worthy of a Grammy. I think that enough people consider it a bop. The thing is, y'all, this is a tough year for the Grammys because all these songs that I have written down are bops, okay? Um, they are. What's the likelihood that 21 Savage will win a Grammy? Because I've seen he was not. And, oh, but wait a minute, baby. You, but y'all know who they're not going to do dirty this year is Abel. The weekend better get his just desserts too. Now, if that if there's one black man that deserves to come home with some Grammys that um next year, it's him. Cause they did him dirty with that last album. Before we get 21, let's let's do um the weekend. What's the likelihood that the weekend they're telling you to go to a whole different deck for him, child? He's special. In a good way. It's a don't even dare use a deck you didn't use. Okay, give me a second. Because that, yeah, that really put me. I mean, the man, child, I couldn't believe him. Give me a second. Then not one, I mean, if I were him, I, baby, Jay-Z was mad over a mid-album. I said a 444 was not what, he, he did all that, he was all upset over an album I didn't feel like deserved a Grammy. But The weekend, oh no. Right. What's the likelihood that he will win a Grammy? He deserves his just desserts. Come on. The Knight of Wands reverse, the Seven of Cups reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Hang. The Sun reverse, which normally it's good. Upright or reverse, but listen. Four of Wands reverse. The World reverse. The Knight of Home. You know what's interesting? It looks like they're gonna. He's gonna get snubbed again. Not even one though. That like that's. Ace of Wands reverse. That's crazy. I, okay, so that may he may be in that Victoria Monet energy. I think somebody doing work on you, Abel. Let's check. That's probably why I couldn't use the same deck. But you know what's even worse with her? It's what's even worse, not not with her, but with him. It his work is even worse than hers. So I'm gonna pull out the lowest deck I have. This is the deck I use when I get them super low vibrations. Because that's the type of energy, energy you just don't want sticking around with the decks you do have. You can use the deck for any purposes, but this is the one. Look at this. The Four of Pentacles to the Tower as soon as I open it. Who is doing work on the weekend's career and his success? Um, not his success, but his um, his his awards, award nomination winning success. He's, I mean, he's successful. 
Three of Swords reverse. Some uh, 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 an X, and look at the tower at the bottom. It's an X. Able, one of your X's is gonna work on you, baby. And and she's in a coven. Page of Swords here. Knight of Wands reverse. Here, seven Swords. Temperance reverse. She thought y'all would have it all. Hang man. I can't make it up. Seven of Wands. Interesting. And then here's the Ace of Cups. So this is the upright this time. What's interesting, this is a breakthrough, just me saying it. In the sense of, I don't even think he realized where it was coming from. That's where it's coming from. The Seven of Wands, well, yeah, he suspected it was. Because the Seven of Wands, they say the depiction, okay, you see this person fighting against Six of Wands coming up against him. But it could represent that the current, the person we're talking about could be t uh, seeing, could be feeling as if something's happening, but nothing's really there. Abel, if you feel like somebody's going to work on you, they are. And it's a, it's a bitter ex. This reading then went all type on all types of tangents. I was not trying to take rides on. Okay, I want to know about Barbie World. What's the likelihood that Nicki Minaj's Barbie World will win a Grammy? Oh, Knight of Cups reverse. Maybe not Barbie World, Nicki. Temperance, the high font to the chariot, child, never mind. Strength reversed. Hmm. Now, if Barbie World were to go up against Just on a Rock all my life, or even tomorrow too, I would say no. I don't think Barbie World will win, but I still, still think she's going to. It's giving Lauren Hill, although he's not holding all of these cups in his hand, go look at the, pic, the picture when Grant, of um, with Lauren Hill at the Grammys when she could barely hold all of them. Just saying. Just saying. So I don't think Barbie World may not win a Grammy, but I think that she will win several Grammys. I think, it, you know, it don't, and I'm hearing it don't even have to be several. Just one Grammy is going to be enough to shut up that conversation if you can't say Nikki don't have a Grammy. It's like me as a Philadelphia Eagles fan before we won the Super Bowl. Greatest year of my life, by the way. Lifelong Eagles fan. And Eagles games are the, the memories I do have with my parents. As a matter of fact, my dad, I have one of his Eagles jerseys. So we bury people in our family with Philly, Philadelphia Eagles jerseys. It's that serious. Um, when we won that Super Bowl, it was like people could never say that we ain't had no Super Bowl rings. Well, I don't give a fuck if we got one. Just can't say we ain't got none, you know? Um, so it's that type of energy. Just Nikki winning just one is enough for people just have to shut the fuck up. She's the Grammy Award winning artist now. It's giving. I didn't even get the gunner. What's the likelihood that Gunner will win a Grammy? I heard we ain't giving Drake shit. Who, ooh, child, because his name is right under Gunner's. And I was going, I said, I missed him too. Six. Okay, Gunner, um, first thing we got to do, baby, is make it to the Grammys. Don't get too tipsy, baby. So that may be what his Grammys night is about. A little too much drinking. Yeah, to have too much fun with these hoes. Don't make a baby tonight at the Grammys. That was the Empress. So I don't know about him winning, but he seems to be like he's gonna have a good fucking time that weekend. What is the likelihood that Drake will win a Grammy? Pixie, get off my get off my leg. She heard a DoorDash lady coming. Hold on, I hear. I think I heard her shut her car door. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna be petty spirit. I am not gonna be petty. Listen, if he don't win one, he gonna be in some some feminine energy, child. He gonna be a whole he, a whole diva over that shit. Get that man some so he'll shut the hell up. He might win one. Um, he but I think if he wins, he won't be happy with the win. So it'll be like a feature, like he's featured as an artist, but not the artist song. That type of energy. Oh, he's such a poor loser. Drake is one of the one, the one of the most masculine, feminine men I ever no, known a man. I mean, he be he he his panties stay in a bunch. Anyways, I love you guys till next time. And I'm sorry the topic kind of went. Doo, 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 doo. But I just go which way, whichever way I'm led. And I really did enjoy the reading myself. Because, like, it's a 50-minute reading. Y'all don't get 50-minute readings from me. Come on now. The ADHD just, uh, -uh. I love y'all till next time. All right, let's go use the bathroom, Pixie, since you just said. Pixie, what's the likelihood that Pixie go win a Grammy? You want to do the next reading with Mommy? Ooh, I'm gonna do next week.